Hi everyone, how low can price go? Let's look at my low time frame and micro scenarios, including potential trading setup, starting with the micro scenario where I mentioned in the previous video that price is making a higher high, but volume is making a lower high, which is not a bullish sign. And I also mentioned that this over here is the most common target area for a wave five between the 1.236 and the 1.618 of this potential one, two, three, four, and then five wave impulsive structure. Now price ranged in this area for a little bit before now moving to the down Downside. And if we then zoom in to the five minute time frame, you can see that this is an impulsive structure to the downside that started with a one, two, one, two, and then eventually an explosive move to the downside, where you can also see that volume is increasing with price moving to the downside, which of course is a bearish sign. So definitely as it stands, lower prices are expected because this is still then a one, two, three. You would then expect a wide four, wide five over here to finish the blue three. So you do in blue, you then have a one, two, three, then a blue four and then eventually a blue five now this would then be the first structure so then the correction is not yet finished that is only the first part because a five wave move like this at the moment can't stand alone if this is a structure a five wave structure it's either a wave a a wave c or it is a wave one now, in my opinion, this is not a wave C and then potentially an A, B, C, because this over here is a one, two, three, four, five wave move to the downside. For me, it's much more likely this move to the downside is either a wave A or it is a wave one of a bigger correction. So if we then go to the low time frame and actually go up in time frame from the micro to the low time frame, basically, what I'm going to show you is the bullish and the bearish scenario. Now let's start with the low time frame bullish scenario, shall we, on the Bitcoin chart where over here we have the low of wave four and we are still looking for eventually more upside in the green five. So inside this green five, we then have the blue count over here, which is a one, two. This is then the high of wave three, looking for a four before eventually a move to the upside for wave five, where for me an interesting target might be the highs of the range of 2022 at 32.4K. Now in this particular scenario for me the validation would be if price is going to go below the red line over here at about 29k why because the fibs that you see on the chart over here the 0 0.5 to the 0 0.236 are pulled from the low of wave two to the high of wave three. And usually with a wave four, you do not want to see candles close below the 0 0.5. And especially if we get close to the golden pocket area, which is the gray line, the 0 0.618, it is very unlikely it is still a way for and it's much more likely that lower prices are going to be uh, happening on the Bitcoin chart. So in this scenario, what we could be looking for is this to be the high of a way three and then a zigzag ABC in a way four. Now, a zigzag in a way four is more rare than a, than a complex structure in a way four. However, if we look at this wave two, which was quite long in time and complex, it was a WXY. Because of the rule of alternation where it says if wave two is complex and longer, wave four can be shorter and simpler. And with simpler, it basically means a zigzag. So complex is like a WXY in this scenario. And then the simple correction, which is often a bit deeper, is then an ABC in potentially this wave four. So this would work in the more bullish scenario where this then is the beginning of a wave A to the downside. Eventually, you would expect a three wave move to the upside for then a wave B and then eventually a C to the downside. Now, this five wave structure in a wave A, if we then have a correction in B, B is not allowed to go above the origin of wave A, because if this is a five wave move to the downside, this is either gonna be a wave two or a wave B, and price is not allowed to go above. So that basically means that the potential trading scenario is gonna be a scenario to the short side where the stop loss is gonna be above this high, and wherever price is gonna go for wave A, eventually it will retrace uh, you know, we don't know how deep it's going to go, but eventually, of course, it will have some sort of a correction back to the upside. And that is the moment where potential shorts can be laddered. But of course, I will update you by the time I think it's interesting, um, you know, when we have more clarity from the chart as well. Of course, this is educational, guys, based on Elliott waves. But then you would expect a wave C to the downside. The relationship between A and C is often a one to one relationship in time as well as length. So if wave A is from here, to basically here, then you would expect wave C to be about the same length as well. So keep that in mind. But yeah, for now, we're still working on this wave A. We have no idea how low it's going to get. And if we go to the more bearish scenario, it might also be a wave one, then a wave two, and eventually a wave three for way, way more downside. So we have a bigger correction to come. 
Now, as mentioned, the invalidation for wave four at 29K is an important level because if price is going to go below the 29K level, basically, this scenario becomes a lot more likely where this first structure is only a wave one followed by a three wave correction in a wave two before then an impulsive move to the downside in a wave three. Now, if this is a wave one, two, and you then expect a wave three to the downside, you would expect volume to increase over here to the downside also compared to wave one. So basically between wave one and wave three, you would expect a higher volume over here on the volume indicator in trading view. While if this is a bullish sign with an ABC, the volume in C should be let's say moderate, you know, it can be quite similar to wave A, but it definitely shouldn't like increase towards the downside because then it is more likely that this is going to be a one, two, three for eventually a lot more downside to come. So this is what I wanted to say. I hope this was helpful or valuable to you. I'd like to thank you for watching and subscribing and I will see you at the next one. Bye bye.